Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at two named storms, one in the Atlantic Basin right off the east coast of the United States, first officially named storm of the 2020 season, about two weeks early. Tropical Storm Arthur should not become a hurricane. In fact, should not be problematic at all. It's going to brush the east coast of North Carolina before it makes a hard right-hand turn and goes out to sea. Should see some high winds, probably in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range, maybe some gusts in the 50 mile an hour range. Not anything that these folks here haven't seen before. They've dealt with major hurricanes in the past. This is only going to make it up to Tropical Storm, but it is two weeks early and this is now six years in a row that we've had a named storm over here in the Atlantic Basin before June 1st. And there's also a named storm over here in the Bay of Bengal that's stirring up large waves. Tomorrow looking at forecasted 39 foot waves in the center of the Bay of Bengal. And this storm here could be making landfall as a category four. Um, who knows, this thing could reach Category 5 status. Yesterday we talked about this storm being an overachiever, and boy, has it ever overachieved. When we were watching this thing yesterday, it was a Category 1, expected to go up to a Category 2 storm. And we were looking at this thing in astonishment, as it was very strong on radar, had an incredible presence, and it had everything in its favor, still does. And next thing you know, this thing goes from a Category 1 to a Category 4. And there's some models suggesting this could go all the way to Category 5. We'll have to wait and see. We're looking at it here on windy.com, and it's starting to develop an eye wall. That is an enormous storm that's going to create enormous waves. Looking at 39 footers tomorrow, and it's going to have a, looks like a, a huge bowling ball going through the, the Bay of Bengal. It's going to have 13 foot waves spanning for over 800 miles across the entire Bay of Bengal. Don't know exactly where this is going to make landfall. They're looking at Bangladesh, northeastern India very densely populated area. We're keeping a very close eye on this storm as it did become an overachiever. And again, I'll show you a couple of models that are suggesting this thing could go into a 916 millibar range. That's category five territory. That is lower than Hurricane Katrina and that's lower than Hurricane Harvey. And that's over here at weathercharts.com. Come over here to Tropical Tidbits and they're suggesting that tomorrow, just like uh, weather charts, a uh, 934 millibar central low. And that's a very strong category four storm. And that's what we're implying here. They're seeing cat four, one, two, three for the next two days, then becoming a category three before it makes landfall. But that could change. It went yesterday from a one to a four. Don't be surprised if this thing doesn't go from a four to a five. So everybody in this area here, if you're in the areas of, of northern, northeastern India, Bangladesh, um, everybody in this area in the, in the Bay of Bengal should be on high alert. This is a large storm capable of producing copious rainfall, huge waves, and of course, very high winds. Looking at some wind gusts in the 150, 160 mile an hour range and sustained winds of over 130 miles per hour associated with this storm system that doesn't look like it's going to have too much to slow it down. The wind shear is favorable for this storm right now for a long ways and then when it does encounter wind shear, it's not going to be that strong. So conditions are favorable for this storm to remain strong and quite possibly get even stronger. Just incredible and we're keeping a very close eye on that storm. Much like these incredible photos sent to me by Carlos Skywatcher out of Portugal of tonight's sunset from Portugal. Look at that. Looks like the famed winged planet. And then here, it's gone. The wings are what's left behind when the sun dipped below the horizon. Just an absolutely spectacular photo. Thanks for sharing, Carlos. Guys, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on this storm as it gets closer and closer to a very densely populated northern India and Bangladesh. And that could be making landfall as a major storm in the next 48 hours. And if you guys are new viewers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on this bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you're current subscribers, double check. Make sure they're both still activated. And also click on the patron tab below and consider becoming a patron. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.